at any age. For more information, write Bill Rogers, 55 Union Street, San Francisco, 94111. KBTX TV, Channel 3, Bryan College Station. Nothing. I just proposed to you. Like, will you marry me? I know. Just like I proposed to you about five months ago. Well, that's why it sounds so familiar. And the whole plan we agreed to with my parents. Three months ago today. I remember. So now it's time for us to get our half of the deal. Brenda? We can have a giant June wedding. All we need to do is plan the date. So what are you doing next week, huh? Mm. So what do you think? Well... What? You don't like it? No, I didn't say that. I knew it. It's, it, it's the, the red wine vinegar. I mean, how am I supposed to make a decent spaghetti sauce without an imported it's Italian red wine vinegar? Terrific. On my mother's grave, it is much better with the red wine. I think it's perfect. <laughs> then again, I am not Italian. I'm also only one person. You know, you made it up One in there very too. special person. You made it up in there to fit it, to feed an army. <laughs> uh, no more about the eating for two. It's wearing a bit thin. Yeah, but you're not. You know. I'm only kidding. You know why I make so much of this? Because when I used to cook, I used to cook for, like, my whole family, right? And there were all these Vincents running around. So all my mother's recipes called for, like, gallons like this. I can see that. Here we have it. Red wine vinegar. Agrigento. Agrigento. That's, uh, it's named after this little town in Sicily where they make it. I tried to find some, but I couldn't. But fortunately, that's not the most important ingredient. What is? Love. That's the one thing that you can't leave out. I'll get it. You cook. Yes, ma'am. Sandy. Hey, Nino, it's your lucky day. I found the Agri Gento red wine for you. Since Thomas was back in the hospital, I thought you'd want to know. Well, if the good doctor would give me my phone back, could have saved yourself an extra trip. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. Where are you going? Mr. Morgan, I told you, I've got other patients. I have other patients to attend to. I know, I know. Okay. Thank you. Anytime. You mean that? Why do I get the feeling I'm being set up? It's your naturally suspicious nature, which you share with your son. You see that down there? Your foot. Very good. Also happens to be the same foot we conducted my test on the other day, remember? Oh, come on, just one more time. What harm could it do? Mr. M Mr. Morgan, if you had seen the doctor that Thomas wanted you to see earlier, he could have done those tests. I know, but I didn't. And I just want to see if I can still feel hot and cold again. What do you say? Come on. Come on. N-O. Mrs. McCandless, you're no fun at all. You know that? All right. All right, then uh, just stand there at the foot of the What are you trying to do? I'm trying to move my foot. So, uh, tell me, is there anything? No, I'm sorry, he's not. Oh, wait, just a minute. He just came in. Thomas, it's for you. Who is it? Kelly Harper. Tell her I'm busy. to take with new Phillips Lax Caps. Now, one moment, please. Thomas, she, she says it's very important. Uh, Thomas, look, I know it's not probably none of my business, but she did tell me. Wendy, it's none of your business. 
How did Dr. Spear get along with the ever-lovable Jarek Morgan? He didn't. Mr. Morgan wouldn't see him. He said he wanted to see you, and only you. He did, did he? Great. That's what he wants, that's what he's gonna get. Come on, Wendy. We've got a patient to deal with. Next week? Yes, yeah, the week right after this one. Yeah, I know. And Brenda, you know I want to marry you just as soon as possible. And it doesn't matter to me, honest, if it's if it's a big June wedding or it's just the two of us standing in front of the Justice of the Peace. Right, so what's the problem? There's no problem, really. Wally McCandless, don't you even try to pull that one on me. I always know when you're upset. You get all scrunched up right here. Brenda? I just started this job four days ago. So? So getting married takes time and planning. We gotta find a place to live. And a honeymoon. I know you want a honeymoon. No, and you don't, right? Yes, I do. It's just bad timing. You know, that's just what Daddy counted on. I should have just figured that one out. Brenda, you and I are gonna get married. No one's gonna stop us from doing that. It just can't be next week. Okay, then when? July? July? Okay, you pick a date. Um... Uh, come here. What? Wherever this lands, that's where it's gonna be. Okay? Yeah. I'll just do it again. No, I'm not letting our future ride on some stupid gambling machine. Okay, you're right, you're right. Let's get married the first week in July. Oh, Wally, that's perfect. And all the fireworks in July will be for us. Nothing. Not even a twitch. Probably too early. But I will move it, Mrs. McCandless. I'll move and I'll walk. You wait and see. All right, what's going on in here? Oh, your mother was kind enough to help me with a little test. I know I can feel hot and cold, so I thought it was time to try for a little movement. And nothing happened, right? Well, not yet. Right. Well... I told you it was going to take a lot of time and a lot of patience, Mr. Morgan, remember? Yeah, and here I went and believed that you were the eternal optimist. Well, I lied. How come you didn't see Dr. Spear when he came in to conduct a test earlier today? But he's not my doctor. You are. Besides, he's got a lousy bedside manner. Really? You want to see lousy? Wendy, let's get the patient into a sitting-up position. Oh, finally, we're going to get this show on the road. Well, All maybe, right. maybe I should come back later. No, stay. All right, now, come on, easy, slowly. Slowly. I want you to break a stitch. There you go. That's good. Are you all right, Mr. Morgan? Yeah. Yeah. I want you to stay that way for a little while. Wendy, I'll come back in and help you down when the time comes. Wait, wait, is that it? Aren't you going to run some tests? Not tonight. Why not? Because the lab is closed, for one thing. I haven't got the time or the patience for the hey, other. Well, wait a minute. You mean I've been hanging around all day just for this? You should consider yourself lucky. You should have had the test when I scheduled them earlier. All right, all right. Then I'll have them tomorrow. What's then? Well, then about a week or so, I'll have you back in a wheelchair. That's wonderful, Doctor. That'll be right back where I started. You call that accomplishment? You can feel again, Mr. Morgan. Tissue that was dead is now alive again. You can consider that an accomplishment. Well, it'll do for starters, McCandless, but I want to move. I want to walk. You wanna... want? You've had an entire hospital at your beck and call for over a month, and all you can say is you want? What, you want more nurses to wait on your hand and foot? You want doctors to run more tests? What do you want? Wait a minute, Doug. I was just joking. Yeah. I've never appreciated your jokes. Joking is over. What's the matter? But you like me anymore? No, and I never have. From now on, I'm strictly a consultant on your case. Now, wait a minute. What are, you, what are you talking about? You're my surgeon. Surgery's over. From now on, Dr. Spear and the physical therapist will be taking care of you. No, wait a minute. You just can't walk away on my case. Watch me.
your virtually impossible wash load filled with impossible looking stains. That's why you want Dynamo Action Plus with extra stain removers. Watch, we'll stain these blouses with chocolate, gravy, and catsup combined. Look, Dynamo Action Plus cleaned that stain. The leading liquid left it in. Dynamo cleans more kinds of stains better than the leading liquid or powder for cleaner looking clothes. Dynamo Action Plus cleans the impossible wash load. A Curad bandage brings out the mother in all of us. Especially a Curad flexible bandage. It's soft, comforting, and it stays in place. Lose weight with Dexatrim. Is this your idea of running things, McCandless? You out now. Hey, you heard me, Tootsie. Uh, Bumper, you want to ease up and watch what you call her? You like bimbo better? I said out. You're telling me, Brenda Clegg, daughter of Sam Clegg, who owns this whole casino, to get out? Am I hearing you correctly? My mistake, Miss Clegg. This is the fiancé, huh? <laughs> I should have known. You're real lucky, McCandless. You know that? Real lucky. I mean, marrying the boss's daughter is never a bad deal. But uh, you fell into some kind of a honeypot here. Come on, Brenda. I will walk you out. Excuse me. Pardon me? Oh, I'm sorry, yes. yes. I, I was just looking for Mrs. McCandless. I was down in her office, but... Oh, no, no, she's not there. Uh, she's in Mr. Morgan's room, and I, I think she's still there. Uh, still there? Is there a problem? Well, not exactly. It's uh, it's just a very special case for, for Dr. McCandless, and, and Mrs. McCandless always tries to help out as best she can. Yeah, well, I understand it's not only a special case, but it's also highly unusual. Uh, yeah, just like Mr. Morgan himself. Come on, I'll point you in the right direction soon. Is he going to get a divorce? Are you two going to come out into the public? Is, are you going to get married? What about his career? Is he going to give up his career for you? Or are you going to be his mistress? Is that is this a backstreet affair? Come on, Kelly. What's next? Oh, no. I don't know. Well, I do. Oh, I do. It's not going to work. And it's not going to be because you don't love him. Because I know you, and you will. You'll love him enough. In fact, you'll love him more than enough. But for the Cleggs, it's never enough, Kelly. <laughs> it's a trade, it's a taker, it's a user. You don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I? All right. <laughs> Maybe I don't. But I know this. What you two are going to do is going to hurt a lot of people. <sighs> Especially you. Most of them. Don't you tell me that you haven't thought this all out. Oh, of course I thought it all out. Well, great. How do you think it's going to affect Slo? Scotty? I will never let Scotty be hurt. Well, how can you avoid it? How can you avoid it? You haven't talked this thing out. You're playing a scene. Are the scenes playing you? You know, I thought that if I explained this to you, you would understand it, but obviously I was wrong. <laughs> Fine. You explain it to me. Because I'm not going anyplace. You tell me how you're going to protect Scotty from this. Especially if everything else is protected. Oh, damn it. Trey is Scotty's father. He loves him. He loves me. We'll make this work. Don't you understand this thing between me and Trey? We can't help it. I don't want to help it. What I see is the woman I love making the worst mistake of her life. Maybe Trey loves you, Scotty, too. But the moment that he sees that you're a political liability, that you're an obstacle to his career, this entire house of cards is going to come back right down around your ears. No. No, not this time. <gasps> right, right. Kelly, 
We started to have something special together. You can't deny it, and neither can I. We could have been really special together. But you threw it all away. Thomas. Yeah, what? The therapist is with Mr. Morgan. Yeah. Mr. Devane just arrived. I'll get that. I was just trying to help. Well, don't. I don't need any help. Don't you? Seems to me like you need something. Thomas, what has gotten into you? You know, it's one thing for Mr. Morgan to be rude and abusive. I've gotten used to that. But you? I couldn't believe you'd speak to a patient like that. Well, let me tell you something about that man. I cannot wait till he's on his feet and walking when I smack him in his flapping, arrogant mouth. Thomas, what is it? What's wrong? It's Kelly, isn't it? Congratulations, Mother. The wonders of science pale next to your ever-sharp maternal instinct. Yes, it's Kelly. I listened to that stupid voice in my head. I went to see her. You know, the one that says, go on, go see her, find out where the two of you stand. And? We don't. Big surprise, huh? Well, I'll tell you something. It's a big relief. Because now I can finally get Kelly Harper out of my mind once and for all. Uh, hey, you guys. You sure this is okay? I mean, I didn't come over here to get invited, you know? It's just that Nino was uh, practically stopping strangers on the, on the street trying to find <laughs> that red wine vinegar. And I just happened don't, to know this... Don't uh, worry about it. Nino made enough for an army. Mmm. This is not army chow, kid. This is Mama's recipe, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my brother to cook. It's terrific, kid. Oh, now it's terrific. When we were growing up, it was, hey, get out of the kitchen, sissy. <laughs> so I was wrong. What, I'm not allowed to make a mistake? Maybe I didn't know you so good back then. So I just didn't understand. Yeah, I guess. I mean, what girl wouldn't want to marry a guy that cooks this good? Come on, Sam. What? What do I, what do I say? Is there anything wrong with that? I mean, uh... Yeah, when the baby's born, Cheetah's going back to dancing, am I right? I hope so. See, and, uh, and then she won't have time to spend uh, cooking in the kitchen, if you get my drift. Uh, when's the baby going to be born? Soon? Uh, two two weeks, weeks, more or less. And in a month from then, it's back on the stage. You'll see, somebody who dances as good as you do, you'll be lighting up Broadway in no time. Uh, I'll get it. No, 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 that's okay. Um, I'll get it. You've done enough. Hi, Cheetah. Hey, look at this. My old boss is breaking bread with good old Nino. Hey, listen, is there room in this family festivity for one more? Hey, what are you doing? I'm mixing the pine cleaner. Don't... You're involved with two women, one of which happens to wear your wedding ring. Weekdays. You got a choice, Nino. Oh, hey, hey, you can go down the stairs. Hey, Nino, take it easy, man. Take it easy. I mean, it's up to the little lady who stays here and who goes, you right? Nino, I don't want any trouble. Hey, I'm, not, I'm not here to cause any trouble. I just came by to see the little lady, see if the kid's okay, you know? My kid. I'll rip your face off, man. Nino, relax. Listen to me. Listen to me. Relax. I'll handle this. <laughs> hey, what? listen, Lance. Hey, what? And you listen what? good. Hey, Miss Cheetah's and Cheetah's alone. You forget from this minute on that you ever had anything to do with her or that baby. You got that? And if you ever show your face around here again, it'll be the last time you show your face anywhere. You got that? Yeah. You don't have any more problems from this creep, Cheetah. He's out of your life forever. I promise. On my mother's grave. Thomas, don't do this. Talk to me. Is that everybody's cure now, talking? I don't want to talk. I don't want to think. I just want to forget. You're shutting me out. <sighs> yeah, maybe I am. Oh, Thomas, you're in a lot of pain. Now, please let me help you deal with it. Haven't you done enough of that in my lifetime, dealing with my pain? Don't you think it's time to stop it from both of us? All right, so you don't want to talk, fine. But I've got a pretty good idea of where all this is coming from, and it has something to do with Drake Lake, doesn't it? Mom, if I were you, I'd stay away from diagnosis, because you're no damn good at it. You better get you back under the covers, Mr. Morgan. 
I don't want you overdoing it today. I'm staying right where I am. Taking you guys too darn long to get me sitting, and I intend to enjoy it. Mr. Morgan, I don't think you ah, understand. I'm feeling fine. Believe me, I am. <laughs> I am. How about giving him ten more minutes? Then I can personally guarantee he'll behave. Yeah, okay. yeah come on, Jim. Just a few minutes. Nice guy, nice guy. This is only because your friend's here, okay? Ah. I'll be back. Very persuasive, Marshal. It's the first point I ever won off that guy. Yeah, it must be from hanging around you. It's forced me to be diplomatic. Oh, yeah? Where the hell were you half an hour ago when I could have used you? Before McCandless walked off my case. He did what? Yeah, I called it quits. He said he was a sick of me and my jokes. I'm gonna hand my case over to another doctor. Jared Morgan does it again. Well, you want me to talk to him, see if I can get him to come back? No, you don't need to. He'll be back. You seem pretty sure of that. I know him, Marshal. I mean, I know his type. You see, he, uh, he thinks he created me. I'm sort of his Frankenstein. An apt description? Yeah, it would kill him to turn me over to another doctor. Two days, and his hands will be itching to get back to me. You stop. Uh, you OK? Yeah, yeah. Just a little twinge there. Yeah, I'll go get the therapy. No, no, it's I'm all right. Listen, forget it. Stay here. I'm not finished with it yet. Tell me about our contacts in Austria. Well, what do you need to know? Well, do we have a friend there? Anybody we can uh, trust in a tight spot? Yeah, I can think of one or two people. Why? I want to make sure we've got a backup in case there's any trouble. You're making me nervous, Jared. Why would we be running into trouble in Austria? Not us. Zed Diamond. And he may not be running into any trouble, but I want to be prepared in case anything does happen or go wrong. Now, you're still making me nervous. What's Zed going to be doing in Austria? Okay. He's going to a tiny village in the Austrian Alps called St. Emil. There's a monastery there, and it was the last place where Tyler McCandless was spotted. Zed's looking for McCandless? Well, let's just say that he's tracking down a rumor. A rumor that the special investigator McCandless might be dead. What did like you I... say? Oh, Senator. Well, come on in. Don't give me that come in, Morgan. What did you just say about Tyler McCandless? If I work this hard getting my outside fit, it makes sense to keep my inside fit, too. So I help eat myself fit on the inside with Kellogg's Bran Flakes. They're loaded with fiber. That helps keep my inside running smooth. And Kellogg's Bran Flakes really taste good. Mm. No wonder they're America's favorite Bran Flake. So you take care of the outside, and Kellogg's Bran Flakes will help take care of the inside. Not a bad deal, huh? With happiness, something sitting on a Ritz. Everything will taste better when it's sitting on the Ritz. That golden Ritz taste makes food taste great. When it's sitting on a Ritz. Dad, are you coming down with our cookies? No way. Adults love chewy chips ahoy. So much chocolate, a lot of chips. Oh, come on. Whoa. Chewy chips ahoy, loaded with chips. But not for adults only. brochure could chop 25% off your home in... Only Fresh Smelling Safeguard has a combination of rich, thick lather and unbeatable deodorant soap protection. Give your body the best, give it Safeguard. Have you ever been ashamed of your flesh? Ashamed of your flesh? Ashamed of your flesh? Secret to Oxidol? Bleach. These green crystals have color safe bleach. Want to see the difference Oxidol makes? Look. The Oxidol sock is whiter. We can show off our whites, cause with Oxidol, you won't get a train to show with whites. This portion of As the World Turns has been brought to you today by Safeguard. The combination of maximum deodorant soap protection and a rich, thick lather. And by Oxidol Laundry Detergent.
stay tuned for Capital, next on most of these CBS stations. Fashions by Little Lisa. Shoes by Daniel Evans, New York. This is CBS. of the emergency broadcast system. The broadcasters of your area in voluntary cooperation with federal, state, and local authorities have developed this system to keep you informed in the event of an emergency. If this has been an actual emergency, the attendance... How are you planning to find your next doctor? Will you get just a name and number from a friend? Or guess from those thousands of names in the yellow pages? But what if you could get information on doctors? Lots...